Hi, KM4GX here. I just wanted to go over some stuff that I've been doing. Where I've been playing around with MSK144. It's a lot of fun. Um, just want to kind of go over some things that I found out because uh, I didn't quite understand it at the time. What was happening when my radio would jump off frequency and uh, somebody uh, would pull me off of a frequency. Uh, I'm just going to go over how that's happening and why it's happening and also how you can use it uh, to enjoy the MSK-144. MSK-144 is primarily used uh, for meteor scatter, uh, so uh, airplane scatter, some of those things. Uh, it, they call them pings. When you see a, a blip in the waterfall here, you, you'll notice a little bright line shoot up and you'll get a decode. You might get multiple decodes uh, on one pass, on one you know, swipe across there. Uh, so there's a lot of things that are that's happening. It's not like FT8. So it's uh, it's an older mode, but it's a really fun mode. When FT8's not getting through, you're only getting little pings here and there, little blips. FT8's not going to decode. Uh, where MSK144 will still get through uh, with the, on meteor scatter type uh, environments, and uh, that's happening quite a bit right now. There is a little bit of a meteor shower that's going on. And sometimes it also works when there's the band is just not that great for uh, uh, you know having solid contact. Now you you will get you know other things on there too, including airplane scatter, which it's just the signal bouncing off of uh, off of the uh, trail from the airplane, and uh, also from you know the meteors, of course, the trails from the meteors. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of go over a few. Uh, setups or steps you take to set it up to do split so uh, I'm using the flex uh, this probably would p pertain to a lot of radios uh, just to, to kind of go over some of these things with you um, if this box here you'll see right right here let me change screens so that you can see what I'm pointing at this box right here is what how you split uh, do the split so you will actually dial your radio to the frequency that you want to receive on and when you click this box here it's going to put the receive frequency in this window that you're transmitting and you'll be transmitting on 260. so um, i will have somebody call in here in a little while and we'll go over those things uh, when he calls me on the phone but uh, if I were to enable this, you'd notice my radio jump back over to 260. Um, so I'll go ahead and just do a quick, and right now you can see it's jumped back over to 260. I halt it, and it's back and receiving on 263. Um, so if somebody decoded that, they might come back to me, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clear that. And. Um, so that's the the first uh, one of the first things you got to realize is that's what that box is there for, and that's why when somebody's calling CQ263, you double click on them. It's going to pull your radio off if you got your settings set right. It's going to pull your radio off to 263. Um, here's the settings I'm using. I'm not going to go into too much detail on them, but you can kind of look them over if you you want. Now this fake it is important. You got it. You have to have that turned on. At least uh, I'm having to use it with the flex, and that will automatically pull uh, your radio over when you're on MSK 144. Even when you're clicking on somebody else that's calling CQ and they're split. So that fake it is important. I got to remember to turn it back off because it can mess up other digital modes. Uh, you know, sometimes you run it, sometimes you don't. So just you'll have to fiddle with that and figure out on on your rig or on your setup of what what's happening but right now mine is uh, I use fake it uh, to pull it off uh, pull the frequency over another thing you got to do is make sure that your uh, your frequency is unlocked because if it's locked it can't shift over and you need it to be unlocked for that um, like I said I don't want to go into too much detail if you would like me to email me and I will I'll be glad to go into the to more detail on those things um, I'm just kind of clicking through here just in case there's something that uh, somebody might want to look over. 
uh, all these things are a little bit different for everybody else's use that's why they have all these different settings <laughs> um, but anyway that's the settings I'm using and once you do that sometimes it will shift your radio back over to 260 and even though it's checked for that it's uh, it's got my receive back on 260 so you got to dial it back over to where you're wanting to be and then it will split it over um, I hope that this is helping uh, somebody and it, it definitely didn't make sense to me at first um, so I hope that I can help somebody out um, hopefully Harry will give me a ring here in a little bit and uh, we can get started on showing those other settings oh there's Harry right now okay Harry um, are you ready to go I guess I'm I, ready. What you doing? Oh, I, I, I forgot to turn on my speakerphone. Um, okay, go, I'm going to call CQ uh, now, and uh, just go ahead and answer me when you get this. So you, it'll. I got, I got, I got mine set for 15 seconds. Is that what you want? Yeah, that's fine. Too. Uh, if, I know normally 30 seconds is good, but 15 is good for what we're doing ground wave. Okay. But anyway. Are you yeah. All right, go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll answer you. Okay. I'm going to be transmitting on 260 and receiving on 263. Uh, I'm, I'm talking on this uh, on the video right now, Harry, while we're doing this. So just let you know. And uh, go ahead and answer me if you can hear me. Oh, well, I'm still oh. here. Okay. calling you okay Wanted there you call. go see there we got multiple decodes because we're ground wave and uh, you have to double click on this because there's no call answer first uh, so you have to double click and uh, to answer the person um, now I'm I'm double clicked on him and I'm answering him so that uh, even that setting didn't work as far as uh, uh, having only a single answer or single decode uh, but I got multiple decodes because we're ground wave I'm getting multiple decodes again uh, this is just how MSK 144 works and uh, you, you have to double click on things as they come up so it'll it'll uh, answer him now the, the log showed up over here so I'll just go ahead and log him and that's the end of the contact as far as MSK 144. But you'll get those multiple decodes on a ground wave, but on a, on a uh, oh meteor scatter, you may only get one ping. And you'll see it in the waterfall over here, just one real quick blip, and that'll be a meteor falling. So anyway, uh, thanks, Harry, for cool. helping me do this. appreciate it. Okay, see you later. All right, and bye. One other thing uh, you might want to know is that the, the how long you're transmitting. Um, most people seems to be are, are using a uh, 15 seconds, um, but I, I guess that's because they're used to using 15 seconds for FT8. But you'll notice some of the uh, the guys that are doing meteor scatter will run 30 seconds, and that gives them more opportunity to have a ping off of a rock. They call them the meteors falling. They call them rocks. Uh, so you'll hear them say, "I'm waiting for another rock to fall," um, and when that hap, you know, that that's what you're waiting on as a ping off of the uh, trail from one of the uh, the meteors falling through the atmosphere. So, so most guys will run, you know, 15 to 30 seconds, no less than that. Some of them will run a little bit longer. And you can kind of watch uh, for that information. Uh, one of the websites that you might want to check out uh, that uh, would help you on this is uh, you, could, you can go to uh, Ping Jockey is the... Where did I put my ping jockey? <laughs> I guess I should have had it. There it is, ping jockey central. Um, you can watch what they're talking about. And this is all the VHF, UHF stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, they'll, you'll you'll see words like, you know, like I said, wait for a rock to fall, try me again, whatever. They're setting up schedules to try out, uh, you know, to try to make a contact. 
uh, with it. Uh, sometimes, it, you know, most of the time, I just sit there and call CQ or try to work somebody that it pops up, just like on FT8. So uh, anyway, th this is a this is a good resource you can use. Uh, it's called Ping Jockey Central. Um, he's also got some. There's a program that'll tie into it that uh, I use on occasion and uh, that is called PJ Client. Um, let me bring it up here, give you a demo of that. And it's basically the same thing, it's Ping Jockey, it's just Ping Jockey on steroids. Um, but it, it, it allow, allows you to do a few more things and I'm not going to go into detail on this either. but. It's just another fun aspect of doing some of the VHF stuff. Uh, I'm no expert at it. I just thought it was, uh, so I, when I found out some of this stuff, I thought I'd pass it on to, to you guys that may be, you know, watching me. So anyway, just some, some fun stuff that uh, you might want to try out. Uh, since FT8 is kind of dying out right now, the conditions are starting to get uh, not as good for uh, six meters. Um, this uh, MSK 144 on six meters works works out really nice. It's pretty good on two meters too. I haven't really got too detailed into two meters on that, but um, anyway, we uh, we hope that uh, that makes a little sense. Well, I guess uh, I need to go over uh, how you get to the MSK 144 setting. Uh, most people would. Yeah, have been messing with WSJTX dash X for a while would know you just click on mode here and you, you drop down here to MSK 144 now remember when you go to click back up to FT8 uh, make sure you're clicking FT8 not FT9 or JT9 or something like that because it'll mess you up um, you know it'll look similar to FT8 maybe but it's a different mode uh, so uh, just make sure that you're getting back onto the right mode when you're done with MSK 144. Um, it should automatically change your radio frequency and everything when you're changing modes. It should put you on the right calling frequency. And if it doesn't, your radio is not following. You know, you just have to have to look up those frequencies. They're they're down in here. Once you change modes, uh, it's gonna it's gonna show you the modes for that uh, that mode, uh, the frequencies for that mode in the drop down here. Um, but anyway, getting back to MSK 144, uh, just wanted to make sure you knew how to get to MSK 144 right there. Um, another thing is the decode, um, how deep you want to decode, uh, normal, fast, deep. Deep is a, it's going to decode a lot more uh, pings, but it also can give you a whole lot more gibberish, or uh, I call it fake news, or um, you know, it mis misread uh, decodes, and it also gives you more multiple decodes in uh, MSK144. So some people use the fast mode, and then uh, also, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, make sure the box for single decode is checked. It doesn't always seem to work. It seems like you still get multiple decodes a lot of times. Um, Anyway, I hope this helped um, so that people can understand what's happening when they double click on uh, when you double click on somebody on uh, MSK144 and your radio jumps over. It's because they're split and they're pulling you off. Your radio will actually say QSY uh, on there, and it's, it's QSY'd you over to the frequency that they pulled you off of the calling frequency onto where they're where they're receiving. And remember, you have to dial your radio back over to 260 once you're done working them or you'll be back on their calling free on their frequency that they're receiving on um, so that you know it's just something that uh, I learned the hard way there's not a lot of information out there uh, that, that to me at least that that explained it well enough for me um, I, I may be all hosed up but anyway I hope that uh, this helped some way it, I'm enjoying the the, uh, the hobby uh, or the this mode especially and I think it's going to be a great mode for when uh, the meteors start to fall again, of course. And, uh, and, and that way we can continue to enjoy six meters. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate your views. Bye.